everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another AEW Unrivaled 2-in-1 review on the brand new Unrivaled Collection Series number 7. Matt and Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks, the Bucks of Youth here, man, looking pretty good. I do have some gripes about these figures uh, immediately, like there's some things that I'm kind of worried about with these figures, and we'll discuss all of that, you know, dive into all the different things. And the more I look at it, bro, it looks like Matt Jackson has no neck whatsoever. Am I, am, are you seeing this, Brad? Like, look at him. He looks stumpy, lumpy, lumpkins. But we'll get into that, man. We'll crack him out of the packaging and find out what we got going on, man. But super excited to have a whole nother series of AEW figures. I love this line. They really have made collecting very, very fun. They really, like, pump like a shot of adrenaline into my collecting, man. I mean, they made me become a mock collector of these figures, which I thought I'd never do. Like, that makes no sense to me. But here we are, man. And if you guys would like to grab this series, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% with shopping over there, man. AEW Series 7. I think they have a restock of a lot of AEW figures, man. So if you want to get in there, get all that stuff done, man. But here's the front viewing window. Got the Laker gear going pretty much. I'm a big Lakers fan, so that works out for me. You got the images of Matt and Nick Jackson right here. They do not come with the tag titles, even though they are posed with the tag titles. On the side, you guys know, it's Jack's Classic Superstar style packaging with the gold lettering there, Matt and Nick Jackson. Number 56 and 57. I just knocked over the scaffolding, so that makes me upset. Spinning it to the back, man, you do see Matt and Nick Jackson here. Signature Apparently, this is from Full Gear 2020. I remember that show. Series 7. Perfect pose is right there, even though you can't even do that pose with the jacket on. Spinning it around. AEW logos here, and that pretty much completes our packaging for the Young Bucks. So that being said, guys, let's crack them out of their packaging and start super kicking everybody. Alright, so here's the Bucks of Youth out of their packaging. Looking pretty solid, you know? Not my favorite Young Bucks we've gotten, at least at first glance. I haven't got to pose them around like I want to because they still have their jackets on. I wanted you guys to see what the jackets looked like when they were on the figures. That way, when we take the jackets off, I don't have to re-put them back on and all those different things. So, here are the Bucks with their jackets on, and they, you know, they look okay. You know, we're, we're not big on rubber accessories over here. I loved the Series 1 cloth jackets that we got with those guys. They probably did that just because, you know, it was the first series they really wanted to come out with a bang which was really nice get more bang for your buck if you will pun intended clearly pun intended but god it would be nice to get some more cloth accessories at least in the jackets you know we see like four or five rubber jackets in this wave alone and so it'll be nice to get back to that cloth material now diving into the young bucks man since they're a tag team we always kind of review the tag teams as a whole like we go like back to back we don't like take one accessories and then the other it's not like other two in one reviews because we typically dive into one guy then dive in the other but in this instance they have the same accessories we're going to dive into them together, man. And for their accessories, I'm just going to zoom in right here. And we're just going to take a look at the details on these jackets. Now, for Matt Jackson's jacket, you guys can see here, it does have some nice sculpting going on with some zippers and everything like that. I don't think we've seen... It reminds me a lot of the Sting Great American Bash Defining Moments jacket is what this looks like. Now, you have all these zippers on here. You got some pockets and some belts and everything going on. It's not like a super duper hard plastic. Rubber, if you will, not plastic, you idiot. But this right here is super hard. That's super hard rubber right there, but you guys can see on the back. It does have the copper plate gothic font with the YB for Young Bucks. You got some nice stitching detail in there. You got the paint splatter and the purple and stuff. Like, it's a cool jacket. Like, no doubt it's a cool jacket but how much more sick would it be if it were in cloth? But outside of that, man, you don't get anything else. So, with both figures, you get the exact same jacket. And I'm pretty sure the they are identical. Like, I'm not seeing any differences or I'm not noticing any differences between these. Like, I, I honestly can't tell you if there is a difference. They do have tassels coming off, like I said, but you do just get the paint splatter on there. That's about it, man. No interchangeable hands, no interchangeable nothing, no tag titles. It is literally just this, and that pretty much wraps up the Young Bucks accessories, man. So I guess now we can dive into their attires and get into some comparisons between these and the other Young Bucks. So starting off with Matt Jackson, man, I can go ahead and tell you I am not a very big fan of this head sculpt. I didn't like it when they used it on the Series 3. Now, I will say, it is improved maybe by the likeness. Like, he doesn't have the super hard bags under his eyes, like the face itself, but I do not like the hair mold they went with. I felt like the last hair mold was a lot better. I guess they wanted to change it up a little bit since it is, you know, they didn't want it to be the exact same as the Series 3. This one also has a headband compared to his other figure, but I don't know, man. I'm just not a big fan of this head sculpt as far, like, the hair is really what's throwing me off. I think the sideburns and the headband and the face isn't terrible, but it's really just that hair sculpt. Like, look at how it, like, floats above the shoulders, and it just looks weird, doesn't it? It just looks a little bit off to me. That, that's just the vibe that I'm getting from it. I'm not a big fan of this one. Going down to the torso, torso is the exact same. No wrist tape here. I guess that is accurate 
it looks like he's wearing hand tape on the back of the packaging in black, but maybe it came off during the match or something. Now that is like an easy fix. Like you could torso swap it with one of his other figures to give him white wrist tape if you wanted to or something of that nature. However, it is the same, you know, as far as the torso is concerned and the arms and all that. Got the mic holding hands down into the pants. I think this is the Series 1 crotch, if I'm not mistaken. At least it looks like the Series 1 crotch. I think this is the Series 1 crotch just re, uh, you know, repainted there with the purple and gold or the purple and yellow. Got the white bees down the side. You got some like different patterns going on. Bucks down the side. Nice cool stuff going on. Now this is something that's very interesting about these figures. What they've done here. Now I thought these were going to be, you know, like the Ultimate Warrior. I thought these were going to be like, you know, different guys with tassels that Mattel makes. But it looks like to me, Brad, that this is one whole sculpted piece. Now you're probably wondering what about lower leg rotation? Well, they actually made it the lower leg. Like this is the lower leg rotation right here. So they've connected it here with a lower calf piece and then they have made this a boot mold so you could stick this on another superstar like you could put these on Kenny Omega you could pop this off and this whole like the tassels and the lower legs right here and the feet are all sculpted in one piece so it is different from the series one so here is the series one Matt Jackson compared and you guys can see they have the Elvis pants like sculpted down the side here and there's no lower leg rotation whatsoever so for this one they sculpted the tassels over the boots and made that the official boot of this figure but it still allows for you know rotation and stuff down here so that's a pretty unique way to do it but i will say now if we were voting on whether i would like this with the tassel sculpted over the boot to make its own mold or doing like the series three where you have the you know the cloth tassels over it with the cody boots underneath like so so you guys know if you lift up the tassels here you unveil this like crazy looking cody Rhodes boot with black shoes i like this better the feet they use on the cody are a lot better for standing and posability than the series one style where it's like this like bell bottoms pants with these feet these feet don't stand very well at least that's been my experience I guess this one isn't as bad maybe they improved that a little bit i haven't gotten to play around with it a ton but you guys can see the slight lean back right there but it does it does i will say it definitely has a lot more stability than the series one does like see the series one is always constantly trying to lean back so this is the series one b with a head swap with the series three so yeah i mean that's it's very similar of course but it is you know a different tire and they did sculpt it differently which is very appreciated but if i had to pick i would say go with the cody Rhodes lower legs i'm sure they did this because it's accurate but moving forward i would hope they do the cloth ones with the cody Rhodes boots because i think it poses better and it gives it more stability than say these do but i don't know not bad you know i i, I like it better than the series one pants but i know that was a one-off attire and getting into nick jackson man it's the same exact figure from the neck down as far as the matt jackson is concerned you know same decals you know everything like that even the bucks is on the left side the yb on the right side you got the tassel look on there and all those different things same exact figure no wrist tape no tattoos none of that good stuff but it is the series one head sculpt with the headband repainted from red to purple and it looks like they darkened up the hair a little bit there so the likeness is you know the exact same i wasn't a huge fan of this head sculpt before like i think the likeness is sort of there but it's not my favorite young bucks head sculpt i would much rather have the series three head sculpt and since you know we've, we've already taken a look at this head sculpt and we've already taken a closer deep dive into the body we are going to go ahead and swap head swap these guys so you guys can see what the series 7 young bucks look like with different head sculpts and here are the series 7 bucks with the series 1b matt jackson head sculpt and the series 3 nick jackson head sculpt and this looks a lot better to me as far as a figure like a fix up i still would like them to have like black wrist tape or hand tape on there which is something that i could easily add or you know there, there's some fig hack i could easily do to get that correct but i love the way these look these look much better in my opinion and you guys can see the black headband ties into the black ear and the gold the elite logo right there can tie into this gear very easily so that doesn't bother me whatsoever but i would say these look superior in this fashion like to compared to the series 7 stock head sculpts i like this pairing better but it's not a huge deal i still think it looks badass and you can even add a headband from mattel or something on this figure or something i don't know you can play around with it but hopefully we get some better nick and matt jackson head sculpts in the future with longer hair or the hair down or whatever but there is your head swaps between those and for your young bucks figure comparisons guys here's the series 7 in the middle you have the series 1 version 2 on the left and then you have the series three on the right of course with head swaps right here but this is our third set of bucks i'm surprised we honestly don't have more i'm looking forward to more with different gears and different accessories and different things i think they're gonna look really sick up on the shelf and stuff i don't know why this nick jackson's hands are missing gonna have to get that figured out but i like the way this looks man really cool to collect all the bucks and these shirts actually are going to match these guys so that's pretty cool too with the purple and yellow and young bucks tassels going on that'll look really sick so yeah that'll be really nice and then if you wanted to see the elite all up next to each other here's the bucks adam cole and kenny omega all up next to each other i think the mattel scales 
fine in here. This is bigger legs on this Adam Cole, but I think it looks better than those Bebe legs that they give him. So yeah, you get it, Bebe legs. But yeah, that does it for your figure comparisons. But anyways, guys, I think that wraps up this two-in-one review of AEW Series number seven, Young Buck Figures, or Matt and Nick Jackson. Again, had a ton of fun reviewing these figures, man. Really awesome to see another release of Young Bucks and also to see another set of AEW and Rival Collection, man. The line is not perfect, but God, they just it's so fun to collect. I really can't even explain it. Super articulated, great details, great looking figures, and we're getting better with time. But I think that pretty much wraps up the review, man. I think if you missed out on the Series 1, 3, or Version 1B, I mean, these are definitely worth the pickup. I think they look okay. Now, if I were to say what my favorite set of bucks is, I would still say the Series 3. I like the Series 3 overall the best. But the Series 1 are also good, but I think it's terms of like posing around attire, overall likeness and quality, I would say the Series 3 bucks are superior. However, still a really good set of bucks, and I think you guys would have a lot of fun with them. If you're bucks fans, you're going to like these a lot. A lot of interesting stuff they did with these, and that's really cool, man. But come back tomorrow as we review two more from the set. Let me know if you want to see FTR or Lance Archer and Nyla Rose next. But thank you guys so very much for watching. If you guys would like to grab these, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But I'm getting out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and don't cross the line like, uh, like the, the like, uh, I, I don't, I, uh. You cross